<laughs> Welcome to my vlog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you rolling? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Wazook. So, welcome to Wazork on the Dive Utila channel! <laughs> um, so we're so excited for this. This is one of the first times that we're doing something like this at Wazork, but um, we wanted to properly introduce ourselves to the Dive Utila channel. We are Wazork, or the Whale Shark Oceanic Research Center. We're a part of Dive Utila with the Bay Islands College of Diving, and we run internship programs. We also do research projects for marine conservation and we also do all kinds of things with the reef as well. So today we're going to be introducing all of ourselves for um, Wazork. We are the staff at Wazork here and we are going to be answering a lot of the common questions that we get about our organization. So without further ado, um, Mari, if you'd like to introduce yourself. So my name is Maria Fernanda Pavon and I'm from Honduras, from the capital city. I studied biology in the National Autonomous University and well currently I am the research overseer here in Lusark. Awesome. I'm Abby Smith, I'm from England, um, I'm the program manager here at Wazork and I'm a good example of someone that you don't need to come from a background of marine sciences to work for a marine conservation NGO. I have a degree in English literature and film studies back in England. And yeah, I came here to do my one month internship with Resort, and that was five years ago. <laughs> awesome. So I am Eli Myron. I formerly studied biological sciences and environment and society at Florida State University for my bachelor's. My position here at Wazork is formerly social media coordinator and I'm also one of the internship coordinators here. I help out with different parts of the internship, give lectures, and help out with um, whatever needs to be done for the day for the interns. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the question portion of this video. So we get so many common questions about our internship and basically what we do through our social media. So I kind of created a list. Okay, so the first one, and this is kind of something that everyone can touch on, is how would you describe resort in three words and why? I would say inclusive. Um, so the prerequisites to be an intern is that you need to be 18 years old and be advanced uh, open water certified. It doesn't have to be through PADI, it can be any um, organisation. And the reason that's inclusive is because this internship appeals to people from all walks, walks of life. So you can be um, 18 years old, you can be 60 years old. Um, the internship is still suitable for you. Um, we've had people who have been lawyers, doctors, accountants, from any educational background, and this internship is still suitable for everyone. So I would say, say inclusive, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I guess we can all do one way. Oh, well, I do believe this is very educational because we definitely get to learn a lot of things. It, there's an ample choice of subjects that we look at, and it's like definitely very, very good for any type of person like who has a different background, just as Abby was saying. Yeah, it's educational overall for any type of person. So I think my word for the internship would probably be immersive because we really focus on making sure that when people come here and they're trying to get involved in marine conservation, we're not just doing lectures, we're not just going to be in the classroom, that we're gonna go into the water and experience that immediately right after we've learned about it. I think it's the coolest thing that we have with this internship is the opportunity to quickly and easily go explore some really beautiful places and in that way you get to do that six days a week here so it's so immersive and that's one reason why I absolutely love it. That's such a good one. Yeah. <laughs> so okay so the next question on here is our favorite research project in Bazork and why it's your favorite research project. Um, I don't know if anyone has... What if we have the same one? <laughs> <laughs> That's Let's okay. Mm, well, I do believe right now my favorite research project is the one involving lionfish calling because, well, overall I really like fisheries and there's a lot of space there to do 
well, scientific papers and stuff like that. So I am definitely eager to participate in every lionfish pool dives and on the dissections that we do over here. There's a lot of information that will be definitely useful for people around us, like in, in the Caribbean, uh, through all of this. Cool. Mine would be our coral restoration project. <laughs> this uh, research project for me, I just see instant gratification when we go on our dive. So we're partnered with Utila Coral Restoration here in Utila, and they have two sites um, where they have their coral nurseries and each week we visit those nurseries and we clean the coral fragments um, of any algae and remove any potential predators that are living on our fragments and yeah it's just the, the nicest job I feel like um, a mama mermaid going every month <laughs> and cleaning all the algae off the corals and making sure they're healthy checking up on them and then when they're ready to be out planted back on the reef you just instantly see the impact you're having and that's why I love it. Oh, <laughs> Um, I think my favorite research project, and um, this used to be a lot more prevalent, I guess, common for our organization, and that is our whale shark monitoring program that we have here. That's the database that I have um, a lot of oversight in right now, and our whale shark monitoring program. So that basically is every month we do an ocean safari and we might see whale sharks outside of that too, but that's one day of the month that we have dedicated to going to look for whale sharks on the island. And we have this really cool opportunity of one of the only databases that really exists in the Caribbean that is so long-term. We started back in the um, late 90s and started taking information about whale sharks and we just have such cool, unique information that no one really has in the world about these really unique, elusive creatures. Um, so I think it's just super cool that we are one of the few people that do that. And obviously whale sharks are super cool. <laughs> Can you describe a typical day in the life as an intern? So I think I'll give this question mainly to Abby because she's answered this question many times. Yes. So as Eli mentioned before, a lot of our schedule is broken up to, into a classroom section where we introduce a theme or a new idea to you as an intern. And then we try and hop in the water as soon as we can to um, implement that idea and to practice our research. So um, an average day at resort would normally be a session in the classroom, for example, a fish ID lecture. And then in the afternoon, we'll either go snorkeling or diving to um, identify those species and practice our ID skills. All right, so the next question was, what kinds of internships do you offer here? So again, I think, Abby, this might be a good question for you. Yes. Um, so you go ahead. Cool. So we, our most popular program is our Marine Conservation Internship, which is four weeks long, and it runs on the first Monday of every month of the year. Uh, we can host up to 10 interns. And we also do a research assistant internship. The prerequisite for that internship is that you need to have done your marine conservation internship in the first month. You need to be a certified dive master. And then that role is really coming to us, acting as a pseudo staff member and learning what it's like to work within an NGO. Um, you help teach the internship, you lead dives, you um, conduct your own research. And then finally, the last internship we can do is for people who are passing through and maybe can't stay for a whole month or two months and that is our citizen science program. Um, you get uh, implemented in the internship with our month-long interns and you learn all the lectures, you come on dives with us and you kind of get a bite-sized portion of what it's like to be an intern here. All right, so our next question on here is kind of one for everyone here. It's another kind of, what's your favorite? So this question is favorite activity with resort. Of all the random things that we do here, not random, but all of, the, <laughs> <laughs> all of the super cool things that we do here. Um, what is each of our favorite activities to do with Resort? Well, this is a very tricky question because I really like a lot of our activities. No, like, actually, I love them all, so I cannot pick one, certainly, but I really love lionfish dissection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's like it's really cool getting to see what's happening inside them and um, like trying to help through the information we get with them. Yeah, I think that's my favorite one. Cool. Yeah, getting dirty. Old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Abby? Oh. <laughs> well, I can't say coral nursery again, but 
Beach Queens, uh, so we do community outreach activities every week and we do bi-weekly Beach Queens and most recently actually we've been visiting the um, turtle nesting beaches over on the north side of Utila and that instant gratification that I was talking about before, it's just so nice to well, it's overwhelming to see all the plastic debris on our beaches. We get a lot here, um, but to see the change that you can have in just an hour and know that that's having a direct impact on the mama and baby turtles, that's a really good feeling. And same with our coral nursery. It's nice to clean them. I find that really therapeutic to be underwater for an hour and see the before and after of just how good everything looks. I think, I mean, still my favorite activity here. I'm just a complete coral nerd when I came yeah. here. That was my favorite thing when I did the internship. I really loved learning about the corals and everything that lives on the seafloor. So now my favorite thing has become teaching coral ID and now coral disease. I think it's the coolest part because it's one of the least known things that not the typical person knows how to speak the Latin language of all the corals that we have here. And I think when you really start to understand how many different species there are and really understand how that they are different species that I think it's a really rewarding process of understanding how extremely diverse the ecosystem is. Okay, so this last question on here is um, it's kind of like, what are you gonna kind of get out of this internship? Um, what kinds of things can you put on your resume after completing an internship or a program with the Whale Shark Center? I think you could probably answer this best. <laughs> yes. So with our one month internship, you can definitely, this goes towards college credit for quite a lot of universities, especially in the States. Um, our demographic does reach quite a lot of interns coming from the States who are currently enrolled in university college programs. Um, so that's really um, a big bonus of doing the internship with us. And also if you're interested in pursuing a career in conservation, um, you need to, for most organisations, be a professional diver, so dive master or instructor certified. And the two month internship that we host here for research assistants is a massive thing on your CV. Um, to show that you've been integrated in an NGO for a few months, you have dedicated yourself to learning all the local species, um, you've conducted your own research, you can guide di other divers in the water, you can conduct review sessions. Yeah, it's just an awesome thing um, that people will definitely take notice of um, to have that actual in-person practical field work as well. Yeah, I can definitely personally speak to that too after I did this internship in 2017 after my freshman year. In college, I came back and I just really wanted to do some similar research to some of the stuff that I learned here. And I decided to conduct an independent thesis. And I had this idea of what I wanted to do and I wanted to come back to Utila for it. But I instead proposed an idea to a professor that had some similar research happening um, with the ideas that I had. I wanted to basically look at all of the things that grow in an artificial reef and assess its diversity and how the different shapes of it doesn't matter that much, but <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, all the experiences and learning how to lay a transect, learning how to differentiate a bunch of coral species <laughs> was really valuable in having that professor accept me into her lab and also even like write a letter of recommendation for me to get into the science diving course, which was pretty competitive to get into. Um, she had a little bit more trust in me that I knew what I was doing before I was going to start this really big project and have her trusted me for it. Yeah. Our um, internship is a good stepping stone to get into the industry. So I guess I still wanted to ask, I deleted the question, but I still wanted to ask it just as a little final note of talking about favorite memory with Wazork or um, anything related to Wazork. <laughs> oh my god. So gosh. far. Favorite memory? Yes. I have I have a lot of memories, like for, yeah, as of now. I don't know, I believe it was on a lionfish cool dive afterwards. We were all there in the circle and for the boat to come for us. And I don't know, I just like the calm that we saw on the sea that day. And it was yeah, really nice. I remember that, yeah. when the shark was... <laughs> yeah, there was no shark with us that day. Yeah. It was really cool, I don't know. I really appreciate those type of moments. Mm. Aww, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> I think marine life encounters aside, research achievements aside, I think the biggest 
overall memory and privilege that we have is to meet people from all over the world who come here and everyone is normally on the same page with being enthusiastic about conservation, passionate about um, wildlife and wanting to make a difference. So the best memories I have really are just meeting all of those people and hopefully touching lives, um, inspiring future conservationists. And the amount I learn from our interns is just mind blowing as well. So even though we're staff and our role is to teach you and to guide you, it's immeasurable how much we learn from our interns. So yeah, the memories every month from our groups is just really, um, yeah, it stays with you for a long time. And my favorite memory with Bazork, geez. Ah, I think my favorite memory <laughs> I have many, but my the first time I was here in 2017 when I had already extended two weeks to stay and continue. The last thing I got to do was a fluorescent dive, and so the whole dive was going to be dedicated to looking for fluorescing corals at night with a black light. And when we descended on that night dive, we only used a black light and my um, a yellow mask, and it was just the most beautiful coolest dive ever just seeing all of the corals just light up like they were literally like I don't know glowing in the dark it was just amazing that was I think the um, completion of our questions there um, and I think that was gonna be everything for our first video so thank you guys so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more videos that we're going to be creating. We're going to try to put out a lot more for uh, the Whale Shark Center on the Dive Utila channel. So if you have any questions, um, you can, we'll link below a spot to um, go to our website and um, we'll link an email that you guys can use to send your questions to. We'll also link our Instagram, which we post on daily. I don't know if you guys wanted to add anything. No. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for watching. <laughs> See you in the next video. <laughs>